All right, so right off the bat, Scorpio, you're in a place, and it's the Ten of Pentacles up here, and it's in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse energy, It's you're not happy with your home, you're not happy with how things are going, it feels a little off, it feels um, like just uh, skitterish is the word that keeps coming to mind. Like uh, you just, you can't fix it, you don't know how to fix it, and it's, it's just gnawing at you. Uh, you know, it's like you're looking at your future and you don't see it. Uh, it's like everything right now is foggy and you're just unhappy. You're unhappy with your, your home life. Well, a new beginning is happening. Lovely Scorpio. So this is a chance to really step out of it. Now with this Ace of Pentacles, the message I'm getting with it though is you've got to grab it. Okay, it's not going to be set down on your lap and then unwrapped for you and then implemented. You have to go for it. All right, this Ace of Pentacles is um, a new job, could be a new living situation, but something is coming in the end of March for you that you have to just go for it. And I know that some of my Scorpios are going to be like, oh, I don't know, I, I need to think about it. I don't know if it's really that great of a deal. It's out of my comfort range. It's not exactly what I wanted. Too bad. You got to go for this. This is a great opportunity for you, and you need to you need to take advantage of it. All right. Then in April we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So the Knight of Cups in reverse is a message. It's an emotional message. I feel like somebody's lying to you, though, Scorpio. I think it's somebody you already know, and they're lying to you. They're feeding you a bunch of BS. Like, oh no, baby, I love you. <laughs> it's like when I hear, oh no, that's not that's not really the truth. Like, I don't listen to anyone. I love you. <laughs> Just like in that kind of cheesy. Um, in a pimp sort of way, you know, it's like that's what I kind of hear is somebody um, telling you niceties that and they don't really feel that way, but they want something from you. Okay, so this four of wands, you know, this knight of this knight of cups energy, it is nothing compared to like this four of wands because the knight comes in and comes out. So I hope you see through that the falsities of that person and into this beauty of celebration that's happening in April. There is a reason to celebrate. There is a reason to come together and say, yes, finally, this is lovely. Now it's a small celebration. So I'm not saying like you won the lottery or you got, you know, the best job in the whole entire world, but it's like a, it's a small victory of, okay, let's go. All right, that's when I needed to jumpstart. Now I'm starting to feel back in my bones and, and moving on. So it could be, you know, that you, um, you know, you got the project you wanted or you, you know, fixed the garbage disposal finally. <laughs> but it's like a small victory that um, just gives you enough to keep going. Here we have the seven of wands in reverse. And so this is in May. May, it, like, for a lot of the signs, it is... Uh, Stop fighting, lay down the swords, and move on. But not for you, Scorpio. Not for you. This is a time, this is uh, like a warning, actually, um, that you have to be very clear about what you're saying and, and also not to manipulate the situation. Because for some reason, with the Seven of Wands energy, it's showing me that you're actually not fighting for um, what you, you think. You're just fighting because you're scared that there's something that is terrifying to you in May. And it's and it's kind of um, self-created. It's not actually the truth of the reality. So you are you are fighting because you don't you're, you don't want things to change. So you got to stop. You got to stop that now in May. You got to stop that that fear induced fight or flight. It's not working in your favor. Okay, yes, five of pentacles reverse. So this makes, oh, okay, so Scorpio, May, like I was saying, this kind of fight or flight, like I gotta fight, I gotta do this, I gotta do some of the, the cycles that you have been doing your whole life um, that aren't healthy, uh, you're getting called out on them in May. And the people around you who are greatly affected by these cycles that you do are gonna walk away. They're gonna say, you know what, enough is enough. 
it's it's too much for me you're killing me you know you're just it's too much Libra had a similar energy um, so if you know a Libra you might yeah you go watch the Libra one because they they're they're going through a five of Pentacles transit too this year um, but this five of Pentacles energy is you know people are leaving you're losing your job or you're losing someone that you thought was going to be there always but it's because of this fight or flight that you constantly do, all right? So you have the chance and the capacity to sift that energy and do the self-work so that you don't continuously go into that cycle because that cycle is going to leave you cold and it's going to leave you, it's like, a, a, what's it called? Self-sabotage. It's self-sabotage. You're sabotaging yourself and... You know, in a way, it's like the situation that happens where somebody's like, I'm, I'm gone. I'm done. I'm done, 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 done. Nope, not anymore. I'm sorry. I love you, but no, I'm sorry. Scorpio, that energy is like, it's because of the, the cycle that you continuously do. Now, if you stop that cycle, you know what? They love you. They're going to stay. But it's up to you. It's like, it's almost like you want to be able to say, see, I told you. No one loves me. No one wants to be with me. It's like you kind. Of, it's like you almost want to to say that, and I and I know you don't mean it, but that's. It's like this strange energy that's going on of self sabotage in May. Be careful with that. June we have the Five of Swords in reverse. Um, so whatever arguments you start, any arguments that um, continue from May into June. Uh, there's a really great chance that you will not win the argument. It's just, it's not your, it, you're not coming from a healthy place. You're kind of coming from a manipulative place right now, Scorpio, because you're grasping, you know, you're grasping for anything. You're like, I just need to stay afloat. I just need to make this work. I, I need to do what I need to do to make things happen for me. And this, like, you're, you feel like you're sinking. All right, but with this card, the Five of Swords, it's also, you know, if you start an argument, you're probably not going to win. Don't start the argument in the first place. Don't start that. Think about why you want to start it, what it's going to do to your life, and how it's going to benefit you. And if it's not going to benefit you and the other person, don't even start it. Especially right now, because you're kind of emotionally frazzled from what has happened anyways. So you're, it's, you're not playing with a full deck. I'm not saying you're crazy, but I'm saying that you're tired. Okay, and the Page of Cups comes in. Uh, and with this, there's a message coming from probably a water sign. So Cancer, it could be, you know, it could be you too. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Um, a message coming in of this, like, you know, in regards to this fighting. But this page energy is giving you false information. They're not really there to help you out. They're there to stir the pot. So don't give in to that page of cups energy either of like, well, I heard that Susie said that you looked ugly on Thursday and that you need to go shopping. Or like, I heard that Tommy said that you aren't spiritually enlightened and that you are in the dark age. You know, silly, crazy things like that that are so not true about you. And it's going to stir you up and be like, what? Why would they say that about me because they're full of it they're full of it and you know they're acting from a childish way so don't give in to that fight don't give in to it it's it's not mm -mm, mm -mm. it's not worth your time you have enough to work on you have enough to build and you you have things from the past few months that are worth working on and building focus on those and cultivating the energy in that positive arena of the new job of celebrating because you know things went your way a couple months ago reflect on that and you know bring that energy back bring that energy forward in july we have the seven of swords in reverse seven of swords in reverse is you believe somebody's wronging you and they're not, okay? Somebody um, is at, most likely they're actually trying to help you and you're just pissed and don't want to hear it. Scorpio. You're like, you're not helping me. You're hurting me. And they're like, no, actually I'm helping you. And they're like, you're stealing my joy. 
<laughs> they're not they're not joy suckers they're the exact opposite actually so pay attention to that in July if you just feel angry at someone it's like they bring you flowers and make you food and you're like screw you you're just trying to keep me down <laughs> Okay, the Six of Cups reverse. Yep. Okay, so with the, the feeling of, screw you, you're trying to keep me down, it's because you're reflecting on the past and you're living in the past. You're living in the past energy of what has already happened. And in the past, no, people didn't help you. And you did have to do everything yourself. And you did have to, like, raise up. And you did have to do a couple sneaky things just to make it. And that was your reality and that was your truth. That's not who you are now, Scorpio. You know, all of those things that you had to do, yeah, you had to do them. And guess what? We're really proud of, you, proud of you because you made it through it. And you did what you had to do. And no one is angry and or upset over it. They understand you. Now it's time to let that go, though. That's not who you are anymore. You've grown, Scorpio. So the Six of Cups is a warning of not going back into that nostalgia, going back into those, those ways that you were, because that's not who you are. So look up, Scorpio. Look forward. Because guess what? In August, we're going to need you. You have another new beginning happening. A new relationship, possibly, with a fire sign, with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Passion, passion, passion. Igniting you, reminding you of what it's like to feel like the fire to move on. This is a great new beginning, and it's going to be needed. You're going to need it. You're going to need this fire for the rest of the year. This could also be a new job. The moon. Okay, so I think you're going to stand in your own way with this new beginning, with this uh, fire. I'm so excited for that. It's like such, like, um, the Ace of Wands is fun. Is so much fun. And just like, yes, this is, I've been missing this, this joy. I've been missing this laughter. I've been missing this, this feeling of intuition, of really listening to it. But at the same time, the moon in reverse is like you're self sabotaging yourself again. You're, you're going into emotions that aren't even there. It's like this new beginning is starting and you're like, well, it is, but you know, nothing lasts forever. And this is just going to be like everything else, whether, you know, it starts off good and then it ends poorly. <laughs> and so your emotions are going to get the best of you. The emotion of the situation is going to eat at you. Like you're going to be like, no, nope, I'm not allowed to feel okay about this because I have been shown otherwise over and over and over again. And you're going to fester with that. And that's not what we want you to do. And that's not what you, you should do. You should enjoy the love and the joy that you have. Um, this is August, isn't it? July, August. Yeah. Cause in September here, September, we have the devil. So from this new beginning, this new beginning, this joy that you have in August, if you allow your emotions to get the best of you, it's going to turn into a fixation. It's going to turn into an obsession of almost trying to ruin the happiness you have just to prove your point. Again, like you did up here. Like Scorpio, this is a common theme for you. It keeps coming up over and over and over again of self-sabotage year after year after year. And so with the devil popping up here, it's not necessarily that I'm worried that you're going to be... Um, you know, uh, addicted to substances or things like that, I feel like you're going to be more addicted to this mindset, um, you know, of, of self-deprecation. And I don't want that to happen. Now, if you are, some of you will go down the route, the route of, you know, addiction in other ways. But, you know, ease and flow, ebb and flow, it's, if you go down that route, you know, don't stay there. You know, binge, 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 and then get the fargan healthy. You know, get healthy after that. Like, sometimes you have to remind yourself of unhealthy ways to be healthy. I know that sounds, like, counterintuitive, but, uh, you know, some people work that way. In Scorpio, sometimes that's what you need is just to, like, go there. Go there, um, but make sure you, you don't go too far so that you're not, like, tearing yourself apart but go there and then come out because Scorpio you have that capacity too because the illusion card I mean this is 
This is Capricorn. This energy is Capricorn. Um, and the Capricorn is, you know, diligent, fixated, rule bound, you know. And so with the devil, it's like the rules are there. It's like, no, you will stay down with me. And this is how you will stay down. In the morning, you will wake up and you will obsess. And then in the afternoon, you will obsess. And then at night, we, before you go to bed, you will obsess. <laughs> So this this energy is um, is routine. So don't let it become a routine. <gasps> oh, yay, Scorpio! So then strength shows up. Leo is there to save the day. Okay. So I actually feel like a Leo in your life is going to like hold your beautiful face and say, "Come on, honey, let's go. Let's get out of this darkness. Let's stop doing this. Come on, come with me." Come with me in September. And if it's not a Leo person, then honey, you're going to pull out the lion in you. You're going to pull out that energy and you're going to say, yep, I went to that darkness. Glad I did. Never want to go back. Here I come. Like this is, I feel like it's a rebirth in a way. Um, well, not necessarily a rebirth, but it's a building. It's you're building your endurance of life. All right, so that was September, October, Three of Swords. Uh, there's, I'm so sorry, but Scorpio, someone's cheating. Someone in your life is cheating. It could be you, it could be your partner, it could be, you know, it could be you or your partner. But it's a third party energy. If you aren't seeing someone at this time, look at work, okay? Look at your craft. Someone is is being sneaky, okay? Three of Swords is, is, is heartbreak because of somebody sticking their nose where they shouldn't. Okay, let's see. Okay. So the King of Discs. I'm very happy that they came up in the upright, okay? This Three of Swords energy of deceit of a third party someone is 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 there like the king of pentacles is in the upright here so this is um earth energy virgo capricorn taurus they're not the problem okay so that's interesting to me like they're not the problem they're doing what's right but i also feel like they're there's a cause of this situation so i i kind of get the sense that like it's they're not the one who's cheating. They might be part of the cheating party, but they don't know that they're doing it. Okay? They don't know that they're part of it. It's like they're the, they are the third party. So you and your partner are like together and your partner knows what's going on or you know what's going on. But this person doesn't. And, and they're also a voice of reason. They're like, they're like wait a minute. Okay, so what's happening here? Let's look at this. Let's deal with this accordingly. You know, so this is not the person that you should get upset at. This is not the person who um, is causing the issues. And also, in some regard, uh, like the third party is going to be happening. And then you're going to meet this king of pentacles, this earth sign. And they're going to help you. They're going to love you. And they're going to be there for you. So this is... Uh, Either way, this person is really a gift showing up. Um, pay attention to what they have to say because they've been through it before and they know how to deal with it. Okay, they know how to deal with this third party. Um, they're there for you. And actually, I love this because then after that, we go into um, is it November because that was October. This is October. We go into November and we have the chariot, the home card. So I feel like you're actually going to be building a home with this king. And this can be a man or woman, remember. Um, but you're going to be moving forward with them. Or they're, you're going to be moving forward because of them. And it, it's like you're like, you know, mic drop, moving forward. I got this. I got to live my life. I got to move forward. And you're... Uh, you're on the right path with that. The chariot is cancer energy. And that's home. That's nourishment. It can also be recluse, but not in this regard. The chariot is blazing forward. And you're realizing how important home is to you. And how you have been creating home in a way of fear. 
it's fear-based instead of love-based. So now you are starting to build your home based on love instead of the fear of losing it. All right, and then two of cups. Okay, so this is union. You know, because of you coming to this realization that you've, you have been living a fear base. You have been living, um, like skittish. And that's your word for the year, skittish. Uh, you start to finally make the changes. You start to finally realize, realize your ways. And with that brings love. With that brings union. With that brings your partner. And you finally feel connected and you start to truly now build a, a righteous home. And it's like for those of you who have been married, dating for so long, this is an important year for you. You have to start to work on yourself. You have to start working on, um, like I said, your cycles that you've been doing or you're going to lose your husband or wife. But, it, you know, uh, like, I'm not too worried that you're going to go too far down that rabbit hole. I think you're going to go down that rabbit hole and then come out. And once you do, whew, a new connection, new connection with partnership, with love. Like, you're going to be <laughs> um, cheating on or you're going to do the cheating. And then both of you are going to realize, wait a minute, this isn't who we are. This is not what we're about. No. No, we love each other. We want to be together. We need to make this work. And we move on to the Page of Swords, and this is December. December, a message, air sign, child, too. Some of you guys might be having a child then. I got the sense of. Uh, but the Page of Swords is, like, I just see um, carolers, like, people singing to you and laughing with you and um, giving you that... that message you know it's going to be okay okay let's see and then the knight of wands so another message coming in a person though coming in uh, uh lighting that passion of self lighting that passion of relationship fire sign fire sign energy again leo sagittarius aries this uh, the sword sign is air sign so that's gemini aquarius libra energy um but coming in like and, and here it's like i see like a priest or like like marriage almost like they're like here to like engagement they're there to talk to you during your engagement so i think some of you guys might be getting engaged in december um and just sealing you know that that union sealing that that love that you felt because of november like why wait let's move on together so in January, the, it, the energy shifts a little bit with the Three of Pentacles. Like, you've been having a couple really good months, and then it shifts back to work, and it shifts back to you've been neglecting work. Like, you've been riding this high for a long time, and I'm so excited you have it, but you've been ne neglecting what you're supposed to be doing, and um, you're going to get reprimanded for it from... <laughs> Your boss, your boss is going to say, how come you haven't done this? How come this isn't completed? Where have you been the last years? <laughs> and, uh, you know, that could, you could lose your job if you're not careful. Oh, yeah. Okay, tra transformation in reverse. You could definitely lose your job. Uh, so be careful. Be careful that you aren't neglecting other parts of your life during this high fly in love session that's happening in November and December, January, it's going to bring it crashing down in other aspects. Now, what I do like, though, is transformation is in the reverse. And sometimes when it's in the reverse, it makes it more like you can't let it go. But this one is um, a little bit different in that, um, like you already knew it. It's like you kind of knew that this was going to happen. And you know, when when you do get like the pink slip and get released and let go, you're not surprised, you know, you're not surprised about it. And you're not actually that upset about it because you didn't really want to put the work in. You really didn't want to make that happen. It wasn't your passion. It wasn't who you were. And so letting it go isn't that hard. Yes, financially, it's going to cause um, an issue. But for you personally, you're like, mm, 
that's about right, you know. So um, you're not going to be too upset about it, but it is going to be a huge shift. And how you deal with it is going to affect the next month. Because uh, in February, we have the tower. So with this tower energy, see, here's the thing. You were on this high, this love fest, November, December. You lose your job, you lose something, a situation. It doesn't bother you too much. Because you've got love, right? You've got love, you've, you're fine. The tower comes in. Your partner or somebody <laughs> is not happy about the choices you made. It was very immature. It was very, it was inconsiderate of the relationship. It was inconsiderate of the job. Um, and so then you lose, you don't lose, things shift. People may leave your life. If you didn't lose your job in January, it's going to shift drastically in February. Uh, the tower is something happening that just kind of floors you. That just like, that just uh, puts everything back down to a neutral level so that you can build it up stronger next time. A lot of people get really scared when they see this card because they're like, oh gosh, somebody's going to die. Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose everything. Mm. It usually doesn't happen like that, you know. Yes, I have had the tower happen, and people have transitioned on. And yes, the tower has meant that everything was grounded, and uh, you had to start anew. But with the tower, it's it has to happen. The tower is something that has been happening this whole entire time. And guess when it started? Guess when it started? Right up here. Okay. So in May, you need to look May, right then on your month of what happened in May, keep track of May, keep track of yourself, making sure that you're staying on track for May. Because this caused you to spin out a little bit into um, the cycles that you have always done, but you broke it. You came back to yourself here. You, you, you met the devil and you won. And so because of that, love, love, comfort, your um, union. And also this could be an, an awesome partnership that happened in November, an awesome uh, work partnership. Uh, so when this happens here, you have to think, what happened? What happened right around here in December and January? You started doing the cycles again, okay? Like when somebody said, hey, if you don't straighten up, I'm going to fire you. You said, well, I don't like this job. And you know what? That sounds about right. I always get fired. And so you started that cycle again. And you can't do that right now, Scorpio. You have to let that go. And so the tower is trying to break you of that. You know, trying to break you of that situation. Okay, the universe. Okay, this is green. We have the tower and then we have the universe. The universe is in reverse here. Still a great card though. But remember, the universe is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is a taskmaster, is a teacher, is somebody who wants to see you succeed, but succeed because you worked for it, not because it was given to you. So in February, once again, come back up here. You know, where is it? Oh, well, actually, there's one down here too. Um, you know, you got to work for it. You got to work for it now. Things drastically changed for you in February. So again, put down in February, um, you know, put this on your calendar, save up money, save up, uh, you know, schedule massages, Reiki and, um, a session with me. <laughs> Uh, or with, you know, your your pastor or just somebody who you really uh, trust, schedule it in February because you're going to need help. You're going to need help in February to turn it around and to start working forward. The universe reversed is still positive. Yes, you're going to get what you, you deserve. You're going to get what you have been working on. But it's a little slower moving. And I think it's because you have to pick up the rubble of what happened in February. 